Hey, how's it going, guys? It's JoeM71 here, bringing you my, I think, second Zombies gameplay strategy video. Currently, right now, as you can tell, I am on Moon. Round 41, last guy, and my current guns right now are Porter's X2 Ray Gun and the Zap Gun with the Wave Gun. So, all I have, and also I have Claymores and a Gersh three Gersh devices at the moment. 149,000 points, but you get basically all this. So, basically my strategy is, all you do is you make sure you have the wave gun out. You have to have the wave gun out. If you don't, you are, probably will die. But you basically run around this big rock structure in the middle of the map. When you need to, just simply run on here. You go on the jump pads just to round up the zombies a little bit because they'll run fast under you. And just keep keep on doing this. Shoot. I'll demonstrate how to properly shoot the wave gun. This way you'll get all the kills in your rape train. And then I'll show you how to, if you get in an incident where you need to go and hack the excavator to make sure it doesn't hack in here, I'll show you how to do that too on a high round. Because it's essential that you do not have the excavator breach this tunnel, or dome. If it breaches the dome, you cannot, the whole thing is ruined. Basically, you can't do what I'm doing if you have this breached. So all you have to do is, here, I'll kill him really quick. Nope, I'm not going to answer that. So all you do is, okay, round 42, keep out that wave gun. You're going to need it for sure. Simply, you know, jump on these jump pads, try to round up the zombies a little bit, have some fun, I don't know. And it's crucial because if you were to land right here and all the zombies were crowding around you, you would have no hope unless you shoot that wave gun. So it's almost, a, it's almost mandatory, you need to. And for your information, the glitch going on top of that rock, I'm sorry guys, going on top of that rock does not work anymore. You can't do that. So this is no glitches. I'm not using any glitches to do this. But here, I'll just get down from here. All right, so basically your rape train will, you can modify the rape train a little bit. So you run, you know, just do a couple of laps around these guys here to round them all up. But... What you're mainly doing is just simply take them around here. Dodge any guys if you need to. Try to round them up, but keep them going around this rock. Or, yeah, rock structure. And then I'll demonstrate for you how to properly get the max... That's what I forgot to tell you guys. I also... I have the hacker chip this way. All I do is... Well, as soon as I find a power-up, all I do is I simply... Well, first, to get a power-up, all you need to do is just shoot the ray gun at the rape train. If you shoot the ray gun at the rape train, you're going to get a lot of crawlers. But once you kill them, you'll start getting some power-ups behind. Okay, so to properly shoot the wave gun, simply make sure they're all rounded up like this and just shoot directly in the middle. It'll kill every one of them. But to continue doing it... What was I saying? Oh, crap. Okay, so... Once you find the power-up, simply throw all two or even three of your Gersh devices and simply creep up very carefully to your power-up because if you get the power-up and it's not a max ammo to begin with, you're going to be in serious crap because you're not going to be having any more Gersh devices or anything. So once you do that, just simply creep up, hack it, and just get it and you can keep on getting max ammo that way. You'll never run out of ammo, I guarantee you. I haven't run out of ammo because I've been doing that. So, anyways, yep, this is basically all you do for the rape train part of it. Just make sure that there's no zombies wandering around randomly. And then all you have to do is just shoot the middle, they all die. Pretty easy enough. Okay, guys, so now... I'm feeling like I need some ammo even though I really don't. I just want to show you this so I don't run my camera too long. So all you do is scrap your wave gun and take out your ray gun. <laughs> Funny names. <laughs> okay, so 
all you have to do is simply shoot out the ground. Just shoot out the ground, try to get as and actually, you know, for demonstration purposes, I am going to show you how to go back to home base. So all you do is do exactly what I showed you. Simply make them all crawlers, and then continue on. Make another rape train with whatever, whatever else people that are still alive. And all you do is just wait for wait a while for all the running guys to come after you, and simply. Make them a crawler. And all you do is simply go and run home. And okay, just to let you guys know for a heads up, always have your zap gun out whenever you're in the tunnels. Whenever you're in the tunnels or whenever you leave the dome, the air dome, Always have your zap gun with you in case a zombie is to just spawn in front of you. But there are no excavators on right now, but I'm just here just to simply show you. But okay, so obviously you can make it easily without with these perfect ease actually to back to home base without using air or anything but then all you do is just go you make sure you have your hacker chip with you and go hack one of the whichever terminal is the one that you need to hack to get back same exact thing just keep out those rap, zap guns not rap guns and just continue on with your whatever crap you're doing so yeah fairly easy plan nothing too complicated about it but once you go back, well, once I come back, I'm going to show you guys how to perfect getting power-ups from that big... Sorry, guys, my camcorder randomly went out, probably because I was taping for like 15 minutes. But uh, now I'm basically just going to show you guys what to do with that mosh of crawlers I have in the air dome, which it's fairly easy to deal with them. I mean, there's nothing really to it. But for right now, I'm since I want to save some ammo, or for purposes right now, I'm just gonna kill them all with this. Just because I simply, they're all spread out. I'm gonna waste a lot of ammo trying to pinpoint each one to kill them. So it's gonna be better off if I just simply do it this way. I'm just going to simply make a new rape train and just kill them that way. But yeah, like I said, it's simple enough. There's nothing hard about doing it. It's just the matter of fact of, whoa, what's he doing over there? Okay, so you get back your rape train. Everything's going by nicely, you know, good day, blah, blah, blah. So now you take out that ray gun again, make sure you have plenty of ammo because you're going to need it just in case this rave train doesn't give you a power up, you're going to need it for other ones. Just continue shooting at that ground, make sure all the crawlers are right next to each other, this way you sit, spend less ammo trying to kill them all. Like, like I said, I didn't get anything, that's okay, it doesn't matter, I'll just go for it again. You got plenty of ammo to work with because I'm not trying to kill that faggot or anything. So let's just go for another quick spin and see if we can get anything. And like I said, see I saw plenty of ammo to work with, so nothing too hard right now. As the rounds go on, it's gonna get harder because the ray gun won't even kill them. So I mean yeah, it's gonna get harder, way harder eventually, but for now this will work till probably round 60, 65. Oh. Okay, here's another two crawlers you don't want. So now just kill that rape train, kill all the crawlers, and see what you get. And always be looking at your back for everything, just in case 
you see a zombie try to get behind you and stuff. Because you don't want to die at this kind of round. It's just, you're too far. You don't want to die. And I still have two more clips to work with, three more clips to work with, technically. So we're, we're doing fine. It's okay. And just to let you guys know, the zap gun and... Oh, shoot. The zap gun and ray gun... No. The zap gun and wave gun do not work on the moon man. So don't bother shooting him with it because you're just going to waste a lot of precious ammo. It doesn't have any effect on him, so... Just know that. So again, just like I said, take out that ray gun. Get a little ahead of your rape train. Just constantly start shooting them. And don't do exactly what I did right there. Actually circle around them while you're shooting them. But, yeah, otherwise that will happen. You'll get a big mess of things. And for some reason, I am not getting anything, which is kind of unusual. Usually I get it within the first two times. But I still have two clips, so I'm not too, too, too worried. I'm kind of worried, but not really. What the heck is that? All right, so I'm going to just give it, give it another go, see if I can get anything. If I don't, I'm going to be really, really nervous and screwed. But that this is exactly why your ray gun ammo is precious. You need to take every bit of it seriously just didn't want to get too close to that moon man I don't want to die here but yeah you basically see I got absolutely nothing from this rave train so I'm a little stuck here not a whole lot I can do here other than nothing What you can do is simply trade in your ray gun and get another ray gun back and then do that again. It'll take a long time, but it's kind of worth it because, I mean, round 43, it's kind of a big high round. Don't want to just give that up for nothing. So it's all your call. You got to make the right decisions, but I'm just going to shoot off the rest of my ammo just because I need something. I need a miracle. And nothing happened, so. Well, guys, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to go and get a new gun. I'll be right back, guys.